What's going on, Hood Nation? It's your DFX doing a reaction to Jubilee. I've actually been a fan of them before they even have a million subscribers. I was actually subbed to them way back in, like, probably the five-digit era. Um, point is now is what I decided to do is I see... I was hesitant a long time ago. I wanted to do reactions to them. Uh, I didn't know how they felt about them, but come to find out, they are actually okay with the reactions. And if you guys know my channel, I don't react unless I know, like, it's okay to do so. And I'm only going to react things I'm a part of. So, for instance, there was, like feminist you know movement they all think the same you know stuff like i'm not going to participate in that right i'm only going to participate in stuff that i actually am right so anyways for the beginning please watch the original full screen subscribe i'm blabbing you because this is shut up also yeah with that being said they're cool with the reactions and please support them if you can uh we our channel one thing we also don't do is we don't skip any ads it puts money in their pocket i try to press you out it's just a good example so i own a uh heckler and cock 416 those you don't know. I don't want to show them right now because I don't know. Everything's changed now with the policy, especially in 2020 now. And like, I don't even know if you're even allowed to have like that displayed in front of the screen or not. Like a real one. I don't know. And I also have a tactical home security shoddy. Um, that thing spits about 9, 9 millimeters with one click. So definitely don't want to be on the other side of that if uh, home security. You know, I mean, I'm... I'm learning to be peaceful, you know, and I pray and all that stuff. But if someone walks through that door, man, I don't know, man. Let's just see, though. But, yeah, let's we'll see how this reaction goes, y'all. And hopefully you guys enjoy it. Leave some comments, likes, all that jazz. I looked at my husband, and he's like, no, don't take the shot. But I had it on me, and if he would have said Ooh. take the shot, I would have taken the shot and ultimately um, probably would have ended that guy's life. Took that boy out. Ah, that's... When you put in that situation. All right, we invited six G owners to see their beliefs and values. All right. All right, I'm gonna watch them and then I'm gonna pause it and tell you guys mine. One of the town. Yeah, let's do it. I you guys leave a comment again. It's my first time doing it, so I know for uh, good feedback. Should I say first before they talk, or should I let them talk first and then give my opinion? Where I lived uh, between first and sixth grade was Newtown, Connecticut. And obviously, people know that name, you know, the Sandy Hook shooting. I used mm -hmm. to have to explain even to people from Connecticut where Newtown was. <clears throat> now it's like, oh my God. And yeah. My father when I was yeah. a small child, was shot and he lost his leg. 37 years ago this happened because I was still an infant um, and he's still affected by that day. And then my Ooh. sister has lost uh, two of her husbands, so my brothers-in-laws have both died by gun violence. Me mm -hmm. personally, um, around the time of high school, I was DJing at a party and you know, there was some the anime that shirt. Were I love it. X gang, and then Y gang comes in, they get into an altercation, physical, and then next thing you know, somebody leaves, comes back with a weapon. They're shooting. I duck, I come back up after they've already left the party. By the time I look behind me, there was a bullet round, like the bullet hole right behind me. Like, you literally, got, you would have caught had that. Not yeah. ducked at that right time when they started shooting. It could have been meant for me. You would have caught that I heat. Definitely feel lucky standing on this line and I can't imagine going through what you and your families went through I just I, I just can't so yeah uh well, how I've been I'm gonna have to that's right I can't remember the spectrums of here so whatever direction my hand moves plus the camera's backwards um I have been affected by gun violence as well I'll have to say I agree with it I'm gonna say agree um the reason why is because of uh, some of my half brothers and sisters were killed by gun violence. Uh, one was stabbed, one drugged overdose, and a few others were shot. So it's a multiple of things. And I, though, was very young. Um, so as far as affected, that, that's why I, I want to say somewhat agree, because I didn't witness it, right? Uh, on that level, but then when I was walking home from um, a school dance, this is back when I used to live around the Chicago area, I went to a school dance, and my ride, uh, I don't want to say his name on here, I was just about to, he ditched me in a sense, he, like, he promised to give me a ride home, because you don't walk past Michael Lane 
For those of you that are willing to Google it, you'll know that's that's the LK's like gangbanger. That's like their headquarters. I used to literally live right next to it. So I walked home and two dudes are chasing me and I got shot at. And I here's the thing. I was only 12. I know you're thinking, why would someone shoot as well? I literally grew to six feet when I was 12. I'm a big dude, just for the record. And I remember the bullets whizzing by and I was running home. I was scared out of my, my life. Like... It was scary. So like, but violence, like I didn't get hit. You know what I'm saying? So I can relate with the DJ on that level, you know, as far as like, you know, that bullet could have had a name on it. You know what I mean? Your name in, in particular. I feel, feel unsafe, unsafe without five, my five, gun. Three, two, I slight, oh, sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm like I said, this is my first time everybody. Please again, it's, leave that comment. I'm from Phoenix. Phoenix, where we're very Zona. open about gun ownership and whatnot. Oh, is she fit? Coming Sorry. to California, which I do regularly. Nothing wrong with that. The laws here, and I can't necessarily bring my firearms with me, so I have to have other tools at my disposal. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll use less than lethal. Sometimes I'll have training and situational awareness, like evidences and signs to look for. I live in a crip neighborhood, and so it's oh. very, very imperative that you protect yourself by any means. I say somewhat agree in the sense that if it were a physical altercation, I feel, you know, with my military and martial arts background that I would be able to protect myself. But at the same time, that can't stop somebody else with a gun or somebody else with, yeah. you know, efficient means to take my life or take my family's life. Right. So, and crime happens everywhere. Right. You know, it happens in the hood. It happens nice places of Orange County just recently, like oh, four yeah, o'clock in sure. the afternoon on a Wednesday, yeah. <laughs> people are being stabbed. And I think a lot has to do with Prop 47, she where you have that shirt overcrowded prison, percent. overcrowded jails. It's like a revolving door. People commit crime, they high five the jails and they're out back on the streets and we're just supposed to be okay and not be armed. Like that's what I have a hard time with. So, so I, I agree with you, but I also understand that like when you live in suburban neighborhoods, you are afforded the privilege of more protection in certain residencies as opposed Pops. to where I live at, where uh. it's pretty much a free for all for anybody who wants to take your stuff. I'm going to have to agree with it. Um, strongly agree. Based on where I live, I can't say that. Like, yeah, I'm not in the hood right now. I can tell you that. Like, I'm not, I'm not near where I used to live. Um, but where I live now, I, I'll, I'll stay slightly agree because at any moment, every time, you know, somebody be like, there's times when someone just, they kind of look at you could, there's just moments where you're like, all right, this person's suspicious. And I know some people go at stereotyping, man, fuck that. That that's how you stay safe. You do, you, you judge a person, how, how they act and how they look. Okay, I don't care what anybody tells you. For instance, if you see a child, a little two-year-old, three-year-old playing with trucks, there's no threat, okay? You see six guys twirling bats around and wearing do-rags, it's going to make you think twice, okay? Like, it, 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 oh, you're just judging me. No, like, you got to be, that's how, like, how, that's how, that's how you stay alive. It's street smarts, y'all. Don't, don't, don't mistake in uh, common sense street smarts, you know, with uh, stereotype, like, don't like don't don't it, it's not a bad thing to have that if, if you trust your gut you know better safe than sorry is the way i see it as long as you're not like like being like discriminatory on them on like a level of like you know just for the sake of doing it you know anyways let's go to the next question here i am politically conservative oh they're gonna attach that with the good the guns well, I could tell she would be in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a one issue voter. So if it's like, if I agree with someone on nine things, but they disagree with me on the Second Amendment or guns, I'm still going to vote for them. Even if they're trying to disarm you, you'll still vote for them? What I would try to do within, mm. you know, left leaning politics is make my voice heard and try to yeah. temper that. As they'll still disarm you. I think my time in the military. <laughs> forced me to look at both sides of the spectrum, liberal and conservative. And I think there's a gross misinterpretation saying that all liberals want to ban guns. And I and feel like we need to express the dialogue individually and not necessarily... But the problem is the people that you vote for to want to do it, though. ...to stimulate the That's direction the of the conversation for us. Or you're supposed to be this way, or you're not supposed to be this way. Mm. I feel like since coming out as transgender, the fact that the uh, right has been trying trans. to actively put me down and put me into a hole has made me 
become a lot disenfranchised with them. I used to consider myself conservative before I came out, and it's just hard because I don't feel like I've shifted all that much in my beliefs. I just feel like the political spectrum and discourse has shifted so far to the right that now I happen to stand on the left. Okay, so uh, basically, are you politically conservative? Here's the thing. I voted both sides throughout my life. I consider myself a radical centrist, and I go with the best policies that are out there. And yeah, as far as if there are certain candidates out there that want to straight up just whack the whole Second Amendment, I will never back those people. I'm just telling you right now, it doesn't matter. Like, they can have everything else riding for themselves, right? Like, they can have the best everything else. But if they, if they mess with that, I'm done. You look at the history of every country that's ever had the Second Amendment, so to speak, gone, they fall after. Because what happens is, is and this is, what, this is why we have the Second Amendment, is because of to protect ourselves from the government and to protect ourselves from the foreign people. That's why this country's never been fucked with, at least the, where I'm from. I'm just saying, like, they, they don't do that stuff. They really don't, and uh, I digress. So, just want to say that I, uh, I, I, I literally just would have stayed in the middle there because I'm not. I, I don't identify as anything. You know what I mean? Like I'm just. I'm just really. I'm really a radical centrist. Three, two, she need to untuck that damn shirt. Like, what the hell is that? I like. Why did she like? Tuck that in. Is she strapped? Yeah, firearms instructor. I've had so much support from the NRA. There's so much available. Yes, the NRA has I support a lot of resources the NRA. for instructors. Um, however, when How it are comes you gonna... to um, black to black Second Amendment is completely different than people who don't look like me. What? And we've How? noticed that they've been silent on the sideline when people who look like me are responsible gun owners are carrying concealed they were silent if the nra's leadership were to change if their priorities were to get more in order i would most likely be on your side again i, would. I never experienced discrimination from any color starts. people is, is us having a conversation and us being in a position to make that change start because to trickle up i know so many black right. people and that own guns like, even on my dad's side sure. of the family i'm half black by the way in case you guys don't know that tendering their resignations and whatnot if that causes an actual shakeup, and I'm excited that it will, but if it actually does and it does come to fruition, huh. I'm sure. All Your right, we got ads here, everybody. Two so of them. We don't stop. skip them on our end. No pressure, what everybody. We'll see you guys soon. All right, everybody. We are back. Like I said, no pressure, y'all. Just trying to set that good example. I have pulled my fire on someone. Okay. You really think it's gonna be strong? It's a yes or no question. Damn, y'all. Yeah. Sorry, I went to the wrong. I should have been over there. Should I just stay here? Okay. No, yeah. I've Get never, your white ass over I there. Say for me, I, I, I stand <laughs> and somewhat agree because um, there was. Sorry, a, that was a racist uh, comment. My bad. Home invasion. I wouldn't say attempted. I don't care what color you are. I'm still gonna do it. Um, and oh, one boy. of the things that I'm we realized as a family that we needed to include our kids in our safety plan. But the guy had pushed his way through our house. She came upstairs and said, "Someone's in our house." But she didn't say, hey, a guy pushed his way in. She just said, um, dad needs you. So something in me knew something was wrong. So I came downstairs with the firearm to my side. Strap. And, you know, I looked at my husband and he's like, no, don't take the shot. But I had it mm. on me. And if he would have said, take the shot, I would have taken the shot. And ultimately, um, probably would have ended that guy's life. It was a woman who was in a quite heated argument. <laughs> with what I can only assume is her boyfriend. I went in, got my stuff, came back out, only to see this woman being thrown by the guy and the guy walking towards her with a tire iron. Oh! Like, ready to beat the living crap out of her. Oh. I pulled my gun, got him to back down, and waited until the cops come to help her out. I had one instance where That's I was at and I came That's... out and there was like a super creepy note. I gotta, I gotta give her props for that. That's what's up right there. That's a good way to stop somebody. Cause I mean, let's face the facts. She wasn't strapped. The dude with the tie iron would could have been like, "Back off, bitch, or you're next." You know what I mean? Like some people, they you know what I mean. You can't stop them, but a gun make make people act legitimately think twice or thrice, whatever words you want to say. Uh, left 
on my car saying like I watched you check into the hotel. Uh oh. It was just like really crazy. Stalker crazy. But I slept like a baby that night because I knew if anything were to happen, I'm not waiting eight to ten minutes for a police to come to my rescue with their firearm. That's right. I think they're all gonna agree with that. I'm kind of, yeah, they're going to pick on the disabled or <laughs> mentally people. Everybody should have at least the choice to have it if they want. But. but. At the same time, yeah, there but. are people that show great signs of the propensity to do something right. evil. And as, as a gun store owner, we've been able to oh, come bro, in contact with people like that. Oh, and shame is plugging. Business. With the quicker. Shameless plug in with our boy. Look at that. Who's your boy right there? Yeah. We got Nia right there. He got that arm, Smith, baby. I like his watch, by the way. He looking sleek. He looking fresh, man. Like, nah, you're denied this hell with the quickness. Like, nah, you're too many red flags are going off. As I'm talking to you, as you're choosing what you want to purchase, and you're saying things to me that just don't sit well, mm. I've got no problem letting you walk right out the door and not selling you a dog on thing. Particularly oh. one, I'm oh, so happy police, that we denied think. that sale because it came back that this guy had spent many, many months in a mental institution. Mm. Stole his dad's credit card to purchase the gun, mm. tied up his caretaker to come to the gun store to purchase the gun. And Yo. I, again, talking to him and based on training and experience, I'm just like, yeah, I know, I don't know about this one. I'm standing here mm. by myself because this is a hard one for me as well. I believe that everybody has a God-given right to protect themselves. Um, and I guess, you know, if you do commit a felony and you um, lose your rights for the rest of your life because a felony, That's you lose your rights for up. the rest of your life to purchase a firearm. Yeah. Um, well, I guess you have to, to learn that... other things, but then that just really what? puts yeah. you at a big disadvantage. Exactly. I mean... <laughs> Okay, so I guess they answer the last one with the mental, uh, or everyone should own a gun. Yeah, no, click, click. I would be with the one chick to standing alone if someone agree. Like she said, some cats come out, they grow up, man. Some of these cats be doing dumb shit when they're, like, between 13 and 18, and they get tried as an adult. And a lot of people go, oh, blah, 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 blah. Well, you know, your frontal lobes aren't fully developed, you know what I'm saying, to, like, you're 25, 30. So with that being said, you can really mess up your life. But then you kind of got the smarts when you're older. Because not all of us, our brain, you know what I mean? It's genetics. Not all of us uh, mature at the same rate. With that being said, <clears throat> like, for instance, Eminem is not allowed to own a gun. Because he's a felon. Like, he can't. So, and he's a celebrity. You know what I'm saying? So, like, if someone busts into his home, how is he going to defend himself? Like, Mace? I mean, he might have to invest in those uh, awesome TPX pistols and buy some rubber... Or pepper balls, you know what I mean? I think he could buy those. I don't think he's disqualified, depending, I guess, what state he lives. But you know what I mean? Like, that's kind of, like, where it's at, you know? And can he really walk around? I mean, that thing's a big-looking, like, deagle. So I understand, obviously, there's, <clears throat> like, gun store owner, like, yeah, dude's like, mm, no. Because, yeah, there's, there's people in mass shootings are a gun issue. I'll let them talk first again. <clears throat> Maybe I should talk first. I think it's easier because they don't repeat the... They don't have the question, like, blazed on top of the screen. You know um, what I mean? I don't think it's specifically a gun issue. I think it's kind of like a perfect culmination of all kinds of things. And easier access to gun ownership is, unfortunately, one of those things. And it varies from state to state, obviously, because, you know, here in California, it's not the easiest thing to get a gun. You mentioned easier access. Yes. Look at... You know, in the 1950s, you could order a gun out of a Sears catalog. That's true. And you could, as a kid, yeah. you could take your rifle to school, leave it in the show and tell. closet, and then go shoot rabbits after class. But we didn't have mass shootings or right. school shootings like we see now. If you take if you take guns completely out of the issue, you know, you nice. there, there's an instance in Japan that I heard somebody stabbed over 100 yeah. people in yeah. one setting before mm -hmm. police were able to subdue them. We're going to ban mm -hmm. knives. You know what I'm saying? We're seeing exactly. a mentality aid increasing level of depression and mental health issues that's occurring to our younger generations 
and it's rampant, but we don't want to specifically address those at all. We'd rather point at video games are the problem because look at all the violence that happens on them. Or the gun being the tool, if we can just ban them, they'll be gone. That's not going to stop the problem. Yeah, exactly. So I think they kind of really nailed it on there, and that's kind of what they're aiming for with the highlights there. As far as a gun versus... A lot of people blame the mental health, and, and that's... The mental health is a context issue, because what I say is there's people with depression, but just because they have depression doesn't mean they're going to do it. But they are more susceptible to the being... Uh, doing it because of the bullying and stuff, you know? Like, I, I think it's more of... Um, lack of acceptance so i don't say it's mental health i think all these mental health people if they were treated right and don't get me wrong there's still going to be your few that are going to slip through the cracks but i'm willing to bet and i'm sure i'll probably have to eat my words someone's going to comment different all these people that have been pulling off all this crazy stuff they were somehow subjected or subdued, whatever word I'm thinking of, for lack of better words. You guys can tell me in the comments below. Like, they were all, all like, brainwashed or pushed to that edge. And I'm not making excuses for behavior, but there's consequences for their behavior that were done. I think we all can agree that if everybody didn't mess with the Columbine children, that's the original first, like, school that wouldn't have happened and it keeps going it goes on and on and on and on man like why, why are these kids thinking it's okay to just torment other people you know so to sit there and say oh that person has mental health issues like what about the person that's bullying him that person has mental health issues too so that's why i say it in context because when you say it right away it's like are we talking about the person that bullied him into doing it or the person that retaliated after being so bullied to the point where he f he felt like there was no point in living. So he said, screw it. You see what I'm saying? That's why, as far as the spectrum where I would go, well, yeah, I mean, you're going to have to agree with it. Because at the end of the day, it's... You can't shoot without a gun. <laughs> it's like... So, I, again, it's, it's maybe it's just the context of what I'm hearing with the question. So, my bad. There are too many guns in this country. Context. <laughs> yeah. Try to implement the same thing that Australia did as far as like taking away a certain percentage. Let's see what the results are as far as crime rate dropping down. Like, is, does there need to be an abundance of weapons? I only have one gun in my house, and one is all I need. I have one gun for work and one gun for my personal usage. You talk to people who have like 70, 80, okay, good for you, but why yeah. do you need that many? <laughs> one is one you thing. You got two arms. And there's a constitutional right to have that, but need? I have four different types of pistols based on the kind of outfit I'm going to wear that day. Right I mean, on. Am I going to be going around with a five inch long barrel in my dress? No. And I'm, I'm kind of speaking more time. on like the macro level. Like, are there too many okay, guns right like, in the United States? Yes. Are but there too many guns at your house? Not necessarily. I feel yeah. like America is really... <laughs> I, I, I like our girl over there sporting. She's like, I got a gun from my pumps, from my dress, my booty shorts. Man, I gotta look good. But look like you got a gun in your pants. <laughs> Sorry, you're trans. You, you beautiful girl. But you know, <laughs> I had to plug that in. She got that python ringer. <laughs> We baked on getting into people's business and, and trying to control what they can and can't have. It's like saying yeah. we don't have too many kids. Well, I want more kids. Man, it's going to be a cold day in hell before they decide to just take them away. I mean, like, guns are about as American as apple pie, to be honest. Brr. That was a good one. Oh, there was no hugs at the end. What happened? Did they shoot each other? No, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding, y'all. <laughs> like I said, y'all, you're going to get that real commentary from me, but also I, I have a... I have a dark humor. If you guys like South Park, if you guys like Family Guy, if you guys like Deadpool, you'll love my channel. For those of you that are new here and those of you that you guys know me, like I'll be cracking them witty jokes right there. I've never this is blind reaction, by the way. No, it's a good episode. Uh, as far as too many guns in the U.S., well, there's a lot of stolen. That's always going to be in there. It, it, it's a very again, and I would just stick in the middle. I would say. I know it sounds weird, but it's like, yeah, well, I mean, 
it depends on the context of it. Is there too many guns? Like, I, I would stay neutral. I'd be like, I can't. I, if you count the illegal guns, then I'm going to step on the agree. If not, I'm going to step on the disagree. And then one guy's like, hey, you got 80 guns. WTF, you know? And well, who gives a shit? But at the same time, too, to be fair, hoarders of guns. And all it takes is they invite their friends over. They get drunk. Some of their friends are going to walk off. Dude ain't going to wake up and count all 80. You know what I'm saying? They're not all. The problem is, when yeah, there is a certain limit that I agree with that one dude. Like, that right there, right there. Because, like me, I keep track of both of mine at all time. Like, I know, you know what I mean? It's two of them. If it's missing, I'm going to know really quick. But 80? Unless the guy just threw out an exaggerated number. Yeah, no one should have 80. I would say at most, I think, as a citizen five maybe ten because i mean if you have a family you know what i mean and if every family needs to be armed i mean ten is prompt i don't think there's really many families that are exceeding that and then that that family could be exception of the rule if they have more than ten family right members so just like i said again in case something happens anyways y'all i actually had a great time reacting to this i hope you guys actually enjoyed my reaction too like i said I'll interaction with the uh questions my humor, just pausing it here, here and there. That girl still needs to untuck her dress. But I died. Or dress, untuck her shirt. My bad, my bad. But I digress, y'all. If you guys want to join the Hood Nation, Jubilee's channel, all that stuff, chance to do so. It's going to be like over here. Of course, you've got some players and all that just to get your feet wet. But you know, if I ain't a cup of tea, I'll go find it. It's out there. Believe it. This is Niche from DFX. Out. Oh.